As students or teachers, we are often concerned about the accuracy of our referencing or bibliographies. Sometimes we get confused about the rules for presenting them, particularly if we're typing them from scratch. In this video, we look at an application called Zotero that can save us having to type references or bibliographies. It's a free tool that can be used to organize the sources we use and then easily create bibliographies and citations. Zotero can be easily installed and on your laptop or PC and we can see the download button here. And this is something that we will look at in a later video. However, if you want to quickly create a bibliography or a reference or a citation, you can use a web version called Zotero Bib. And here's the link to Zotero Bib. So if we click on this and Zotero Bib can search for sources if we know the title, the ISBN, the URL, or any of the other identifiers listed here. So let's have a look at some examples. So in this example, I'm going to look for the title of a book, which I'm just going to paste in here. And then I'll click on site to have Zotero Bib search for it. And we can see a number of uh, items are returned. And this is the one I want here. So I will choose this one and it creates the reference to it here. And we can see it down here appearing in our bibliography. Now I'm going to search for a journal paper and I can type the title of the paper in here and again click on site to have Zotero Bib search for it. And we can see a number of papers appear here and this is the one that I want so I'll just choose this and again this is the reference and if we scroll down we can see it appearing in our bibliography. And if we do one more search, I'll use an ISBN in this case, and I'll do a search for the book. And here's the book. And again, it's appeared in my bibliography. Now, what you might notice here, though, is that the referencing style that's been used for these books is American Psychological Association 7th edition, APA as it's called. Now, we might want to use a different style, in particular the DKIT one. So what we can do is we can have a look through the list. Now it has over nine and a half thousand styles. So if we click on this and let's search for Dundalk. And here it is here and let's add that. So that's the DKIT style. So now our references have changed to DKIT style. Let's do one more search. And in this case, I'm going to search for a website or, and I'm going to provide the URL or the link. So this is the link here. And I, again, I'll search for it. And it's from a, a teaching blog called Faculty Focus. And this is the, the reference that it comes back with. However, if we take a quick look at this blog, we can see it has the correct title and so on. But the author is not uh, mentioned on our reference. So what we can actually do here is we can edit the reference. Click on edit and okay, it's a blog post. Here's the title and continue across here. I, you can see that it's added in the words faculty focus. So I'm going to remove those from it. So the title just finishes with the word teachers. Again, the author's name is blank. So if I check for the author here, I can see the author's name is Tina Long Golding. So let me add that in. So Long Golding and the first name is Tina. And again, here's the link and here's the title of the blog. And what I'll do is I'll just delete some of the characters here. So it's now just faculty focus and click on done. So here's my new uh, reference and it's now appearing in my bibliography. So the next thing we might 
want to do is copy this bibliography into our Word document for our, our assignment or our piece of writing. So we can very simply scroll down here and click on copy to clipboard and that's been copied. So now if I switch over to Word and go to my document, I can simply paste it in here and here's my bibliography. And just going back to Zotero, just to say that we can remove any of these out of our bibliography by simply clicking on the, the X to the right hand side of, of the one that we wish to remove and delete that entry. Or we can delete all of them if we wish. So we can use this method to gradually build up our bibliography or indeed build up the whole bibliography. One final thing to mention is, um, again, citing these uh, sources in our actual document then as we're doing our writing. So say for example I want to um, cite a quotation from Davis's book Tools for Teaching and let's suppose it's on page 15. But what I can do is I can click on this little icon here for the citation and let's say I put in page 15 and if I just copy this citation you can see what it will look like here in the DKIT style. Copy this and again, I can return to my Word document. And if this was somewhere in the body of my document, I can just paste that citation in and then continue on with my writing. So Zotero Bib is a very quick way of creating references and citations, or indeed your bibliography, or building it up. Um, if you want to organize your sources to a larger extent, then it might be a good idea to actually install the Zotero application itself, and that will be the subject of a later video.